first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit control N to create a new file. Uh, this document will be shared and the description will have a link to it uh, once this video is posted and edited and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and say test patterns. That'll be the name of it. Uh, the width and height are set to 12 by 24, which is the size of my Epilogue Mini's bed. We're just going to hit OK and go there. I'm going to drag a line over and put it at the 4 inch mark. I actually have some scrap that's 4 inches wide. So this right here is where the board is currently setting inside my laser. Now let's get straight to it. We're going to go ahead and create some really neat intricate patterns. Let's do, uh, we're going to unlock the ratio here. We're going to go to, uh, well, I want to do several different patterns. So let's do that. Let's do an inch and a half by three and a half. Uh, then we can go ahead and lock that back up. I would normally say let's cut this out, but we're not going to cut this out. We're just going to leave it at a uh, half point border. And then I am going to deselect everything, check my nudge distance. It's at uh, zero 01 right now. We're going to make it at 1.6 inches. And the reason for that is because now I can go Control D to duplicate and nudge down one time, and there's a nice gap. And then when I control D, it's going to nudge down one time and copy. And I can do that over and over. Okay, so that's a good thing. We're going to back out by control Z all the way out. And I actually want to go ahead and create a power clip frame inside here. Okay, and then I'm going to control D, step it down one time, and go ahead and make all of these. And that gives us space to make, what is that, seven. All right, we're going to go ahead and change this back to zero, 01. So we can make seven different patterns, and we'll do all seven uh, really cool patterns right here in this video. Now to start, let's do a square. Squares are fun. Do y'all hear that bass? Somebody outside's going nuts. Ha! Huh. All right, so squares are fun. Let's unlock our ratio. We're going to make this uh, 0.3 by 0.3. And we're going to zoom into it. So these are really cool um, and really easy to do. So let's tinker. The first thing we're going to do, I've been using my color palette a lot lately. Let me scroll up. Uh, we're going to put the interior at, let's say, now the first thing we want to see is do we want the inside towards the middle to be the deeper part where it's concave or do we want the outside to be uh, deeper so that it's convex and with a square what we're going to be talking about is do we want it to go down inside like this or do we want it to be kind of like that on the outside so the first thing I want to do is I want to you know what we'll do two we've got seven we'll do it two different ways so uh, the outside is going to have no border we're going to right click no border on that X the inside is going to be 10% black. We're going to left click it. And then if you zoom really close in, you can actually see the difference in color there. Once that is done, we're going to go over to our contour tool, which I keep on my border right here. Um, if you don't have yours there, you just go right up here to uh, effects and then bam, there's contour. Uh, you can also shortcut it with uh, control F9. So now. At one hundredth of an inch, taking it and doing a black fill, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that's sexy. And we've got a nice little black dot, but you see the, the radius here is a little bit off. So let's, I mean, that'll look good, don't get me wrong, but let's increase this to say, uh, Point zero zero nine. 
And see, that brings it in a little bit better. But honestly, it looks damn near the same to me. I know Doug Green likes to use 0 0.001. And that's cool, too. It just creates a shit ton more steps. So for this one, actually, we're going to do... We're going to do like Doug Green. We're going to leave it in um, at one thousandth of an inch. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to click on step and repeat. And I keep all of these right here on my bar because it's easier. Um, now the distance apart is going to determine how our pattern really looks. So if I do a zero distance to the right and copy... We have just like this tiny, tiny line. And when you look at it, it kind of looks like this is going to rise up and then go back down into some depth. But the problem is this almost gets burned off. So I want to leave a little bit. So I want to do maybe a 0 0.1. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, see that gives us a little bit of an edge. And we can actually increase that even further. We'll control Z it out. We'll do uh, two one hundredths of an inch. And this will give us a nice solid white line in between each of these. So it'll go down, it'll come up, little bitty line, down, up, little bitty line. So let's do that and just, uh, I don't know, it looks like 10 of those would be sufficient to fill this. Yeah, that's plenty. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to kill the offset for the right side we're going to go to verticals spacing between 0 0.02 and then honestly i think five copies is all we need here and then bam that is a beautiful set so i'm actually going to just duplicate it and go drop it right inside here and then bam that'll drop in and now it looks kind of neat but I, you know, it's centered pretty nice, so that's cool, but it's going to make the outside, because there's no actual border uh, for the engraving, it'll make the outside look a little jank, but that's fine. For what we're doing, that's not a problem. And we're going to just delete these, delete these, and we're going to go back to contour, and... Well, technically, I've already done this, so we'll just make a new 3x3. Three three. Uh, we're still unlocked there, so 0.3 times 0.3, bam. And this one we're going to do different. This one I actually want the spikes to come upwards. So what we'll do is a 10% black exterior. With no interior, and then we do it. No, that's not right. And then what we'll do is to center. What am I doing, guys? I'm being dumb. We got to go to white. And we're going to do a black outline. Sorry. Ah, that's not right. White to white. Apply. And then what this will do is this will make this be kind of a point. So back to step and repeat. We've already got it lined up to go down, so we might as well do that. Then we're going to turn off the vertical, go right back to this. And we went 10 across last time, so let's do that again. Okay, or not. Oh, goofy old thing. I wasn't on my pick tool. All right, now we do it. We're fine. Now what this is going to do is this going to actually make a really cool um, grid here. So it's going to be gridded out, and this one's going to make a grid too, where it goes down, and this one's going to make a grid where it comes up. So it'll be like wall, wall, up. 
whereas the other one is going to be wall wall down all right and i think that'll be enough for the squares let's just drag and drop it right in there um, i've got my thing set to automatically center so that's good so this will be two patterns and that's going to be square and square so let's do some circles circles sound fun i'm going to press and hold control just to draw it out and make it an even circle you see how it comes out even as opposed to this that's what control does all right now i'm going to lock the ratio we're going to make these 0.3 also 0.3 by 0.3 the first thing we're going to do is we're going to left click 10 percent right click no boundary then go to contour and we're going to contour to black this time Where's my black? It's all the way at the top. There we go. Contour to black. And then... Or not. I don't know. Sorry. We're still doing the other. So we want an inside contour. And then... There we go. So now we got a really cool little dot. But that's not enough I'm close you see all those lines when we move it check that out it's nuts right okay I mean that's decent I actually want to see what it looks like at a 100th step I kind of like this a little bit better for this particular ah, stop that. for this one we're gonna do it that way All right, we're gonna do step and repeat. And this time, I don't actually want lines between anything. So what I'm gonna do is put it at a zero and step across 10, because what happens is that these two light lines meet right here. So this will make it step up and down a bit. And then what I wanna do after that is take and we're 0.3 high, so unclick off everything. We'll set this to 0.15. Then we can do this. We control D, down one, left or right one, done. Okay. And then we're going to select everything, control D, down two. Okay. And then control D, D, D. Uh, that should be enough to fill it. Now we can do one more. It ain't going to hurt us none. Okay, let's do another circle. We'll do the opposite of what we just did there. So, 0.3, outside line black, contour will be white, white to white, and then, okay, so 100th don't seem to be working there. We step it up to a thousandth and then bam, we're good. And that gives us a nice bulbous area here. And that should make us humpy. Now, where are we going? Well, we're obviously going to step and repeat. It's right there. And we're going to do 12 copies this time because 10 was not enough for circles. And you can see up top here, well, you could have, we're still at 0.15 for our nudge distance. We're going to control D, down one, over one, unselect, select everything, control D, down two, control D, control D, control D. And that's plenty. And we're going to take and just drag it right there and drop it in. Now we've done squares, we've done circles. Let's do some polygons, some different size shapes. Look at that complex star. That's nuts, don't you think? Now, is this something that we can weld? It is. When we weld it, we get the nice interior and it looks super sexy.
So then we're going to point three, shrink it down. And then let's go 10% uh, black, no outline. We'll make our copies. Okay, no, okay. Let's go to our contour. Let's see what we want to do. So we want to do thousandth here. We need to be going to black. Ooh, guys, that is gorgeous. All right, step and repeat 12 times to the right. All right, select everything. Copy, paste, or control D, whichever you want to use. Control D, down, down. Control D, 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 done. Look at how pretty that is. That is going to be super sexy. Looks like little meeple almost. Let's see how she turns out. I gotta tell you, it's looking nice. Now, let's do the same exact thing. Remember to hold control so that it drags right. Remember you go to object, shaping, weld to open it up. And then we're gonna go ahead and resize it to 0.3. And you know what? I'm going to unlock that. I want it to be 0.3 by 0.3. Okay, now we'll lock it back up in a sec. All right, contours. First, we're going to do an outline of black, an interior of white. Is that right? And then contour to white from the black. And what this should do is give us nice edges. You see these lines are going to be higher up. Okay. Step and repeat. 12 times. And we're going to go down. Well, I mean, I don't have to, I suppose. Let's go back to that. We're going to go control D, duplicate over one, down one. Control D, down, down. And then control, control, control. I like this. I don't know how it's going to come out. I've never actually done these patterns before, but I do like it. So let's uh let's do this. Let's drag it in there. It's very sexy. I'm digging it. All right, now we've got space for one more, guys. Now we've done circles, we've done squares, we've done stars. Um, my favorite pattern so far has been this guy right. Where is it? It's a polygon. I want to do a six-sided, hold control, drag, 0.3 by 0.3. And then, let's do a black outline to a white interior for this one. For my other video, we did a 10% uh, black outline. Let 
And that's okay, but I don't really think that's what I want to do. So let's do uh, point zero one. Let's try the hundreds. It's not bad, but it's got the That's what it was. So let's I don't want to do any of those. Okay, so. Let's do it this way. I like this. Let's see how it looks as an actual file. All right, guys, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to go laser all of these off and we're going to get some nice pictures.